located above Silver's Vogue shop in downtown Youngstown, is Jim Pernado's best art studio, a large space with tall ceilings filled with decades of his work. Artists try to take information from everywhere and make something that never existed before. Pernado has been working in this space off and on since 1980, and a lot of his work is influenced by his experiences growing up in Youngstown. It was a steel town, and I thought that's what it always would be because that's, in my mind, what it has always been. And then in 94, I went to uh, New York. Uh, the idea was that I was really moving for good. But when the opportunity to move back into this space arose 10 years later, Pernado found himself back in Youngstown. It sounds strange for me to say this, but I think that Youngstown uh, is a real power energy place. Now Pernado is looking to expand beyond his studio and bring art into the city. It's going to be uh, boxed in, and uh, uh, the first installation we want to do is the uh, 80,000 uh, marble piece by Franz Spohn. Pernado's new nonprofit, Next Best Art, is in the process of taking over the window facing Phelps Street and turning it into a rotating gallery. Courtney Waskin, the business manager for Next Best Art, says the window will have a positive effect on the city. Anybody who's been downtown lately can see that, um, well, the difference between a, a street that's lit up mm -hmm. and populated or a street that's got nothing and boarded up windows and walls. You know, every bit that everybody does to open up our storefronts is, uh, is a great impact on our community. To get all the cards out on the table, <laughs> right. I feel like I should tell you, I don't know anything about art before uh -huh. we even start. Uh -huh. Is that okay? Oh, that's always okay. Good. Bernardo agreed to show me some of his work, like this abstract piece called Leviathan or the Whale. Number of little hints, there's things like, like these. Oh, I was going to say, what are, the, what are these? Did you think, well, that spot needs a circle? No, those, those are actually, those are the, uh, on a whale's uh, hide, uh, when it fights with a, uh, a giant squid, uh -huh. these are this giant squid marks, you know, the suckers. Okay. Bernardo says he tries to leave his work open for interpretation, so each piece means something different to everybody every time they see it. You read into it what you want. Well, exactly. And that's why Stairway to, to Heaven is still a classic song because exactly. you don't know what it's about. What's that but about? It could be about anything. That's right. In 1908, American author Albert Hubbard wrote that art is not a thing, it's a way. And for Pernado, it's a way to uplift the city he calls home. There's a lot of people that, um, like myself, who have gone away and come back. And perhaps it has to do with. Um, the people that are here, perhaps it has to do with the landscape itself. But it's the wedding soup. It's the wedding soup, <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure of that. For The Daily Buzz, I'm Michael Moliterno. Just for the